Hey everybody, welcome to Gilbert's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, He Went That Way. Um, I don't know. I mean, it has everybody's, now everybody's favorite, Jacob L. Lord, or whatever you say his name from <coughs> Saltburn, but <coughs> he was in a lot of other things before that. Um, Patrick J. Adams from Suits, and then Zachary Quinto <coughs> from Heroes. Um, they're all in this. That's kind of cool. <coughs> I'm sorry. 5.1 on IMDb, but only 183 people have seen it so far. It's about a journey of curious tensions and bonds between two, and at times three, interesting characters on their own path. So, <clears throat> I don't know. It's only an hour and some odd minutes, 35 minutes long. It's got three great characters in it, so I'm interested to see what it's about. Um, IMDb doesn't tell you a lot, so let's see. Let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of He Went That Way. Um, <clears throat> do not trust IMDb on, on what they tell you. It's not even close. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of people, maybe three traveling across country and there's tensions and stuff like that, but that doesn't give you any of the information of this film. So I'm really going to tell you what it's about without spoiling in it. Um, uh, is it Jared? Jared Elrod? Is that how you say his name? You know who I mean, right? And I think he's a good up-and-coming actor. Um, or maybe not up-and-coming anymore. Like I said, he's been in, he's in Saltburn, which, you know, everybody seems to love. Um, but, you know, and he was in, uh, Euphoria is where I saw him first. Jacob El Elrod, Elrod, whatever. Um, real quick, Patrick J. Adams, although listed twice, is second on IMDb. He's only a small little scene. Um, but it's really Zachary Quinto and Jacob, right? So, Zachary Quinto happens to be like the owner of a chimpanzee, Spanky. Um, and he's traveling back east on Route 66, and that's where he picks up Jacob's, Jacob's character, who happens to be a murderer. Um, and he pitch, picks him up hitchhiking, so trying to get him back to Chicago... And uh, so it, that's, that's your premise. That's your IMDb synopsis and everything that happens throughout the trip is the movie. Um, and, and here's the thing, also at the end of this, that I'm not sure why it's not on here or whatever. I'm sure people, more than, you know, other people probably research the movie a little bit more than I do. I had no idea. Based on a true story. This is based on a true story. They actually show the words at the end, okay, which is great. And then... The, the actual guy who was played by Zachary Quinto. So he's, in, at, at the end, he gives a little interview, which is fantastic. So that made me like it even more. Um, but, uh, you know, so I found that terribly interesting once I saw that. And, and I think that would have been better knowing in the beginning. Because you're watching it and you're thinking, like, really? You know, um, and it takes place in the 60s. I'm going to say 1964. I could be off on that, but I, I think it's, it's in the 60s, right? But yeah, so he picks him up going across country, and Zachary Quinto, I think he does a great job. He was also in Star Trek and Heroes and stuff like that, but I thought he does a, a good job of kind of being like the nice guy, right? He's super nice and, um, you know, very friendly, apologetic, if you will, um, just trying to make a living with his chimpanzee. He's got like a, a faulty marriage going on kind of thing that you don't know much about. Patrick J. Adams plays his brother-in-law who owns him money, who owes him money. A very small role, but that's in there. But, you know, he's just trying to do the best thing. He seems like a really nice guy. Jacob, as I said, is a murderer, mass murderer. He's already murdered people looking to, I guess, get back to Michigan um, or Chicago or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but trying to get back east from, like, where they were out west, Las Vegas kind of area. Um, <clears throat> California, maybe. Even it was, um, anyway, you know, that. West, as far west as you can go, trying to get them back. So they pick them up, and you, you can kind of see, like, as they're doing it, you know, and you can see Jacob's true character coming out as they travel across the country, you know. But with that, even, you know, some of the, you know, uh, diabolical tendencies that a murderer might have kind of shed, shed light on who he really is, Zachary's character is still like thinking they're friends and he's trying to be friends with them even though at times he's even abusive although he hasn't killed them yet on this trip but he's still kind of abusive and um you know and he also knows that he's doing things that he shouldn't be doing 
Um, I think he kind of maybe plays it off as he doesn't know what's going on, but he knows something has happened, or so on and so forth. I don't know. But it's an interesting dynamic that you get between the two of them, and I think it's played very, very well by both actors. Um, and, and I think because I know them, not know them, know them, but I've seen them in other situations. And, and I thought Zachary Quinto in Heroes was one of the best villains of all time. I loved him. And I can't even remember his name, but he was fantastic. I got to pick that up. And I, and I think, like I said, this Jacob guy who, you know, is now taking the world by storm, I think he does a good job. Like, I've only ever seen him in those two things. And, and now he's, he's uh, you know, doing pretty awesome. I just want to see what the, his name was in Heroes. It's going to drive me nuts. But anyway, um, so that's what we got there. I'm not going to keep looking, but oh, there it is. Siler. Siler. That doesn't ring a bell, but that's what he was. He was really good. So anyway, I thought it's like an under-the-radar kind of film with some good actors. Um, and although they kind of say, like the chimpanzee plays a role in the movie, but like they said, sometimes a third character, he's not really... He doesn't bring much besides the fact that he's there. It's not like he's an actual character that does different things. You know, there's a couple of hugs here and there, but he's not like a, a pivotal role. It just so happens that he's the, you know, he's the, the profession of Zachary Quinto's character to, you know, get him back and forth. So there's kind of like a little, you know, the chimpanzee and the murderer kind of like trying to bond or he wants to bond with him, that kind of thing. But it's not like the chimpanzee has anything... Um, you know, special, like any which way but loose with Clint um, Eastwood, <laughs> you know, right turn Clyde, Clyde was that guy's name, that chimp, this one's Spanky, so there you go, enough of that, I threw out enough uh, random movies on you, but uh, definitely worth a watch, um, if you want to check it out, um, it's a short film, I did get on my phone here and there a little bit, but uh but still worth it. I think I probably wouldn't have if I knew it was based on a true story when I first started watching it. At least that's me. So there you go. Now you know, so you might enjoy it a little bit more. If you like those actors, check it out. It's worth the, at least worth the watch. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kim Osiris. Bye.